welcome back to this let's play of King's Bounty Darkside. Last time we wanted to go turn in the dragon's tooth and get the princess, but that didn't work because this guy's way too strong and unfortunately even though I've, so as you can see, I've maxed our army back out, got a little bit of reserves, he's still considered deadly so he'll probably still beat us. Now I know Blackie had said something about sabotaging him and I noticed on our run back here from getting our troops, the bees in looked like it had the little symbol over it like maybe something new was happening so I think I'm gonna go to all the inns because perhaps one of them can tell us how to sabotage this guy is my my guess so we're gonna try that well, let's save again and let's go talk to all three because there's three three inns I think so Mary doesn't have anything to say does the boy have anything to say no okay well, well that was a wash there let's try the other two inns uh, this guy? Could he have anything to say? Do you have any work for me? Oh, I need help right about now. The job is just for a bored traveler. The king has ordered a big badge of armor and I'm running out of steel. Any other time, I would have run to the merchants and bought everything, but right now I'm too busy forging day and night to complete the royal order. The easiest way is to turn to smugglers, since they always have good raw materials. Sure? Right, what's... What's he wants to do? Go see the Blasquito guy? The local blacksmith purchased some steel. If you slip him a batch of ruined steel, the king's warriors will have problems fighting. Ew! So they'll have like worse equipment. Really? Oh, that would that would be useful. Uh, oh, my ship's at the shore now, isn't it? Yeah. So, let's go over there and grab that. Then we'll talk to this guy and the, the bees in guy. Because that's, well, that's huge. We can well, somehow damage their, maybe harm their defense or something. The more damage we can do, the better. I mean, he's only deadly right now, which means if we could knock him down a few pegs, we could probably beat him guys over here acted like they probably would be the guys to go to. Yeah. Ah, greetings, Bagheer. Welcome back. Velasco, do you have any damaged steel? The worse it is, the better. Damaged steel. Never before have I seen a client looking for damaged goods. Unfortunately, I only have the highest quality Dragandor steel. Look at these samples. This is the best steel that can be found in this damned world. It costs 5,000 coins. Ooh. I think we should buy any steel that's available. Damaging a good thing doesn't take a specialist, you know. True, we can always damage it ourselves. Quit whispering to yourself. That's the first sign of mental illness. <laughs> so tell me, are you going to buy my goods or should I offer them to other customers? There are plenty of people who want to buy the finest Dragandor steel, you know. And it's only 5,000. Sure. So do I have to do something to damage it? Or is it just... No, it does say damage the steel. Uh, does not contain alloying additives. That's great quality. Uh, like he has nothing to say. Hmm. Well, of course, we'll go talk to some other people and see if there's a way to damage it. I'm trying to think, who have we met so far? Oh, the witch. Hmm, she might be able to damage it because she can, uh... Hmm, yeah, she might be able to damage it. She's, she said she was good at potions and stuff. Maybe she can do something to make it brittle or something. Like, brittle later on, though, like after he's crafted it into armor. Let's try talking to her first. And if not, we can, like I said, we can just come back and talk to the innkeepers in a second. Do what Clarissa says. Ah, yes. Clarissa, can you damage some good steel? Causing damage isn't difficult. Bring me some rotten breast wart. That's a yellow flower that grows in the cemetery. Three flowers. Should be enough, okay? Not over here. I thought it was going to be over here. 
I don't see anything though. That's oh, there's a spider egg. Oh, probably over. I know where. Over where the uh, catacombs were. Over here. Oh yeah, here we go. One. Two. And. Uh, There's another one in there. Bam. Three. Okay. We'll take those back to her and she'll damage the metal. Perfect. So maybe there's a couple things we can do. Maybe we can... I don't know. Maybe we can't get the innkeeper to help us. I don't actually know. Look like something was up though. Here. Here we go. Damage the steel quickly. All right. Let me take the rotten rust wart flowers. Add some bat spit. Cast the spell. Now you can take your damaged steel. All right. Thank you. Nothing new to buy from her. Oh, so a reason I didn't add bears back to our group. I mean, the Cerebrus are probably better. There's only two bears available. And actually, there's no more beholders either. Like, so if we lose these couple, we're just going to have to deal with it. All right, let's take these back to the blacksmith. Well, and we're going to pass the bees in here. I keep wanting to save the bees' knees in. I know that's not right, but... Oh yeah, here we go. Do you know Commander Bayard? That scummy commander keeps staring at my feline. He thinks that if he's tall and broad-shouldered and wears gold spurs, he can gawk at someone else's wife? Thank you, Jean Sais. I think I have an idea. Oh, is she going to distract him? Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's a part for me in the new adventure. Frankly speaking, Bayard was looking at me for a reason. He's crazy about my lovely eyes. I can make him do anything you want. All right, arrange a date with him on the shore, and when he comes, he'll find me waiting with my army instead of you. What an interesting adventure. I'm so happy you've taken me hostage. <laughs> I know a perfect place for a date. Right down the road from the smithy behind a boulder, there's a bench under a tree and it's so romantic. I promise I'll get the stupid commander to wait there. Excellent. You give him the treats, and I'll mix some love potion into the wine. Are you trying to offend me? Why would you need the love potion since I'm so young and beautiful? By giving Bayard meaningful looks and smiling like that, I'll drive him out of his mind. Besides, I can always let a strap slip off my shoulder. That's a trick no commander will be able to resist. I do not doubt the power of your charms, Falai. But there's too much at stake. I'll bring the love potion and mix it into Bayard's wine. Huh. Okay. We got two things going on now. Okay, here, take it. It's the best steel you can get in the whole region. <clears throat> yeah. Sucker. Okay, there's nothing new to trade. I don't see, I never had anything good to trade. Obtain a love potion from the witch. Oh, she'll have it. Okay, so I need to go get that. Um. Let's talk to this guy first, and then we'll go talk to the witch, I guess, and get that, because maybe he has something, too. Things are going badly at the inn, my kind sir. Respectable gentlemen with money aren't coming to the Spyglass Inn. Mostly just all sorts of have-nots, vagabonds, and other riffraff. One respectable customer used to visit us, though. In fact, he's sitting in the inn right now, but he spent all his money long ago, and now he never pays for anything. Bastard. He still looks like a noble gentleman. Almost. Will you introduce me to this former respectable customer of yours, Talon? A uh, Viscount de Sauvignon. Greetings, warrior. Who are you and where do you come from? My name is Viscount de Sauvignon. I am strong, clever, beautiful, highborn, and famous. Hey, buddy. I am the best knight in the kingdom. Everyone in Portland knows me as the hero of the battle for the Grand Ravine. There is no one who matches my fame and parentage, except for the king, curse him and his daughter Sally. 
I am Bagheer, an orc. Why are you cursing the king? Glad to meet you, highborn Bagheer. It's all because of that Princess Sally. You won't find a nastier piece of work in all Portland. She slandered me before the king because I ignored her attentions, and the king dismissed me from his service despite my military record. Me, the best knight in Portland, the hero of the battle for Grand Ravine, dismissed because of some spoiled slip of a girl. And now you're spending your days in this filthy inn. Alas, it's true. Now there's nothing else left for me to do but to spend the remains of my fortune on drink. Frankly speaking, though, I've already spent my whole fortune and now I have nothing but debts. I'll cover your debts. You'll cover my debts. That would be in the nick of time. But let me order some more wine and snacks first, since you're paying anyway. Oh gosh, he's like a choosing beggar. <laughs> R slash choosing beggar. Featuring Viscount de Sauvignon. Sheesh. And what will I owe you in return? I'll pay for you when we can settle up later. The innkeeper appears, responding to your call. How can I help you? How much does this noble knight owe you? About 500 coins. He's been running a tab for drinks here for almost a year, my kind Sir Bagheer. Here's your money. And remember, innkeeper, a knight should always be respected. Even if he is temporarily short of cash. Okay, oh, when he just showed up, alright. I owe you one now, dear Bagheer. How can I repay the favor? Would you like to be the king of Portland? <laughs> wow. This guy's really moving up in the world. I will arrange that if you fulfill my orders. The throne of Portland? If you're not joking, I agree. I promise not only to fulfill your requests, but even to sign a written agreement on this eternal alliance with you. If you deceive me, I'll bite your head off. For the throne of Portland, I'm ready to serve whomever and whatever you wish. I swear by my sword and my future throne, I will serve the dark and execute any of your orders. Ah, excellent. You must gather everyone willing to serve the dark around you. I'm going to find found a knightly order to serve the dark. I will gather everyone able to bear weapons and willing to serve you and me. If anyone refuses, I'll chop off their head. I promise you, Bagheer, that on the day of my coronation, I will announce the establishment of this order. Call it the Order of Betrayal. That sounds interesting. Oh gosh, that order sounds like it would last a long time. Yes, my master. The Order of Betrayal will be founded for the glory of the dark. I will serve you forever. For the royal throne of Portland, Viscount de Sauvignon is ready to become a dark knight and swear allegiance as your vassal. Let's go. You need to take part in the Dragon Slayer competition. Dragon Slayer competition? Oh. Can I give him the... Can I give him the uh, item I've got? Let's see here. For the dark, uh, put Viscount de Sauvignon on the throne of Portland. Remember that you will have to find ways to solve problems yourself. Subquests will not be visible until they are completed. So many quests now. It'd be nice if you could sub sort them maybe by area, like the quests only for Portland. But I know we still have the one. Let's go back to. Let's go back and get the potion. And then we'll, uh. Hopefully ambush the general guy. And then, assuming that goes well, we've already screwed up their armor, hopefully without a leader. And busted up armor, we can take care of business. Welcome back, Big Gear. How can I help you? I need a love potion. Can you help me? Certainly. Every good, uh, every good witch has a love potion. Of course, Clarissa does too. Unfortunately, it comes at a considerable price, but its effects, uh, its effect is impeccable. Give me 5,000 coins. Man, these people are just draining me dry. Here, have your coins. Okay, she gave it to me. What am I supposed to do now? Take the treats from the bees in and send them to the commander. Let's see, if you're able to lure Commander Baird outside the capital, uh, castle walls, it will be easier to defeat him, since he will be forced to leave part of his troops in the fortress. 
And if you send Feline de la Court to him with treats generously spiced with love potion, Aird will be unable to resist. I guess I need to go back to the inn? Even though technically she's not at the inn, she's with me, but that's fine. Okay, let's see here. Pack some wine and refreshments into a picnic basket. Oh, I guess I'm getting the food and stuff from him. Delacorte reluctantly packs a basket of food. Hurry, Delacorte. Unless you want me to get angry. Uh, okay, here we go. Delacorte has finished packing. Now his picnic basket is full of mouth-watering sausages, soft buns, and sweet-smelling fruits, covered with a snow-white starched napkin. Give me the basket, and stop looking at me so maliciously, or I'll punish you. That's where my part begins, right? Let me repeat everything. I run to Commander Bay uh, Bayard, give him the gift from my dear husband, smile at the commander like this, and give him meaningful glances. Then I arrange to meet him on the shore behind the rock, down the road to the right from the smithy. Did I get it right? Absolutely, and make sure you pour him a glass of wine. You needn't doubt that a strap slipping off the shoulder and the loosened bodice lacing will accomplish a lot more than a primitive love potion. But I'll do everything just as you said. If you want me to drink some wine with Bayard, I'll drink with him. Alright, here are the treats for the commander. Okay. Let's see here. A line looks flushed and out of breath after a brisk walk. It's me again. The stupid commander promised to wait for me on the shore as agreed. Remember, you need to go down the road to the right from the smithy, behind the rock under the tree, or you can walk straight through the bee yard. All right. Good job. Okay, let's save. Oh, wow, we've more like a yeah, two, two XP away from leveling up. Now we just need to go... Yeah. So we just need to go attack him. I mean, hopefully his troops will have less. He has strong now, and he has hopefully less. Uh, its armor is hopefully damaged too. To make it, to really put it on our side, though, I'm gonna drink one of these. Oh, I don't think I mentioned it, but I can't show it now. But we got a, uh, we had apparently gotten an axe that gave us plus three to attack previously, sometime in our last video. I don't know when we got it, but no, when I was buying items, I was looking at it. And you know what? Here, I can just show you guys. I'm just going to go back real quick. Um, we got an axe, apparently. So I'm using that item, and I put away our... Our, uh, our sword for now. Because it was only giving me plus one to attack. And it was giving me the discount on auric leadership. So maybe at some point it's useful. But right now I realized I'm only using one auric unit. So it's not that great. We've got this one though. Plus three attack. 5% gold after battle. It's a pretty nice item. Give us a nice boost to attack. I just noticed the viscount is literally like... Well, I can talk to him. He's literally... Like, in our items menu. <laughs> That's funny. I'm just toting them around in my backpack. Um, but anyways. Let's go attack this guy. Let's use this. So some rage and see what happens here. What are you doing here, you filthy orc? Get lost. I'm here to rendezvous with someone. Your rendezvous is cancelled, Commander. What? How do you know about Feline? You've been duped, Commander. Defend yourself! Okay, so he's got a smaller army... Paladins have lost all their action points. Good. He doesn't have a lot. He's a 5-3-3. Three, three. Yeah, his, our attack and defense is way better. Um, the question here is, the Paladins are actually not too bad. In theory, in theory, these guys will charge and hit the trap. All these guys, the paladins, the knights, they're all extremely slow. So we just need to nuke nuke down these archmages. So let's start hitting them with stuff. We can get rid of them. 
will be pretty well off. And then we can deal with the horsemen probably next because, I mean, they are pretty dangerous. Like I said, I think if they charge, they should hit the trap. Oh, nice, we got them. I move up, can I? I'm hoping they'll hit a trap. Oh, he put him to sleep. Even better. What did he do? Uh, oh, he cast healing. Ooh, it damages all my units. Oh, and only costs two, so oh, he can just spam that. Ouch. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, let's just move here. Blackie can do Flame of Passion, Necro Pack. Four, level four. They're all too high level for the passion one to work. So let's try to do necro pack. So we'll hit all of these guys, the paladins and the horsemen. Let's do that. Let's just hit that group. I want to try to just stay back and try to get them to come into our, our traps if at pos all possible. I'm going to have him defend right there. I'm going to have my Oryx, I think, defend right there. We mostly can batter him. I mean, I can't do much about the spells he's going to cast. That just is what it is. Nice, nice. The trap did get him. Good. Well, actually, we could do a haste. And then smash him. Oh, and kill him. Excellent. Okay, no, this is this is excellent. Because now we can Blackie can do orc strike, good. We can do a, give them a little bit of speed. They should both be able to just hit hit these guys. Try to wear these knights down. Uh, let's have them wait because they've only got two speed, right? Yeah, which means they can't even get to our army if I just back my orcs up. Paladins are just as slow. Yeah, there's no reason for me to even attack. We'll just wait back here. I don't have any reason to hit you people. I'll just avoid you. <laughs> I can just avoid you safely. And Blackie... Flame of Passion. I mean... It kills one. I might as well use it because I feel like I produce a lot of uh, rage, so there's no reason to not use it really. I guess I could do my charge. That doesn't cause me to take any actual damage. Oh, it does put him in the way for this guy though. I could do a haste. There we go. Good. My orcs probably can attack them this turn. Yes. Excellent. He attacked my whatever you want to call it, my illusionary one. Let's have him defend and just sit there and defend. Oh, nice. He got the trap. Have him wait. Because the other guys kind of get out of his way. I have a move over here. Maybe I can draw somebody into that trap. Probably not, admittedly, but I'll try. Uh, kill you, but then the three might attack. I don't know if I like that or not. Oh, especially because these guys... You know what? Yeah, let's just back up. Now that I think about it, these guys can probably finish him off on their turn. And yeah, he's just spamming that heal spell. That sucks, but... Luckily, they're not. Oh. My illusionary one can kill them, too. Nice. That's actually a really good choice, because they can't really kill him. He's a high hit point, high damage unit. Or not high damage, high hit point, high, uh, high like, armor. 
unit, so it takes a lot for them to kill them. They can't kill themselves very well, pretty much. Um, well, let's keep hasting, I guess. Yeah, we can just keep bonk, bonk, bonk. Blackie, uh, there's nothing really good you can do. No. This is going along great, though. I mean, we're easily dealing with them. I don't see any reason I'll just sit here. Oh, he disappeared. He has a duration limit, apparently. Well, that'll be good to know for the future. Didn't realize. I mean, I guess I probably probably read it when I looked at it originally, but that was a while ago. Nice, nice. Good amount of experience there. Excellent. Ooh, Orc Strike does 700. 900 damage for 18 rage. This one does 285. Wow, those are both good. Um, I don't want one of these, too. I like being able to just nuke one unit down with this. Oh, and that's true. We took the ability that makes the cooldowns one less. So let's take the Orc one. And we'll level up. Commander Bay Bayard is dead. Now he won't stop you from getting into the royal castle. Oh, Blind Rage. Medallion, what's this? Oh, we're using Rage Powers. 1% chance of critical hit. Excellent. Uh, I don't really have much here. Rage loss is less. Frenzy. Any troop that inflicts a critical hit becomes frenzied and receive, receives an increased attack bonus. Uh. Hmm. Scouting and learning still would be nice. By the time I get to learning, it's not going to matter, though. <laughs> I need to get learning, though, because I would like to get tactics also still need it. I maybe never go down this side much. I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm gonna save my points. For now. Let's go over here. What was this one? Oh, this is the guy with the feather. Don't need that. No, but now there should be a much... Oh, yeah, no, that's much weaker now. They don't have a leader. And they're probably... Yeah, I don't know how it worked, but somehow their armor should be damaged. <laughs> Let's orc strike. Yeah, these archers, and then I'll just flame these guys. I don't have a lot of units. Like, I should be able to just rush some of my troops forward. Or do I want to, though? Just the trap. Let's just have them wait. Oh, nice. Got rid of all the archers. Excellent. Oh, these guys will walk forward, so we're gonna wait and run into the traps. Where is the third trap? Oh. Couldn't see it from the angle I was at. It was literally right in front of my guy. Ouch. Oh, three orcs got killed. Ha <laughs> ho. Oh well. That was a mistake, and that is what it is. Blackie. Avenge me, Blackie. I think I'm gonna move my guys forward. I mean, I might as well sit back and try to let them take damage. I mean, eventually they'll have to move forward because we can just kill off those guys. There we go. As I say, let them eat the traps. There we go. We'll get this guy to come up here. Wow. 
Blackie, he could do Orc Strike if we had 18. Oh, well, that'd be nice. Uh, oh, nice. Critical hit. Excellent. Oh, he resurrected him. That's hilarious. All right. Let us do a haste on our orcs. Up here. Can't stun them. I'm just going to do that. Oh, well. Uh, someone I can really reach, yeah. Like he can orc strike again. I don't even need to do this really. Let's just kill this guy, I guess. Everyone's pretty much out of soldiers. I haste him just to get him up there quicker. I, there we go. Uh, we should just easily kill them. Yeah, no, that was much, much easier. Lost for Oryx. But three of them were because I'm dumb. Huh? <laughs> oh, there's, there's something for everybody who hasn't played this. Make sure you look over the map and find all the traps. I didn't think they'd put them down on my side. But clearly, I thought wrong. wonder if I have to fight King Theodore or not. Hmm. Because if so, I will go and get some more troops. Well, either way, this is where I'm going to stop today's video. I will figure that out just real quick, and if so, I'll go back and probably reinforce my army. And then we can... Well, actually, we have reinforcements here. I probably don't even need to do that, actually. This is probably good, because that puts him at strong. So we'll probably... Yeah, we won't bother. I'm not going to waste a thousand gold. But we'll see if we even have to attack him next time. Either way, if you guys have any questions, comments, thoughts about the playthrough, let me know down in the comments section below, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.